All right, what is up guys? Um, today I am finally gonna be starting to work on the Camry. I think I've had it for like a week now and I've ordered a couple things for the car that it desperately needs, starting with the brakes. Um, I got this stuff from Rock Auto, which is actually a pretty good deal from my experience so far. First time using it, we'll see how the parts are and stuff. But I got um, the rear brake drums, the brake shoes, and the spring kits for it. And then I got the front rotors and brake pads. I think my dad is actually gonna help me do the rear drums just because I've never done that before. And it'll be kinda cool to do a video with him as well. Before I start working on the Camry, I do have to move the Miata. I found a place to store it really close to my house. So that way I don't have to leave it outside while I'm working on the car. Definitely don't wanna leave it outside, especially overnight. So that'll be a solution for now. That way we can pull the car in and get it on jack stands and not have to rush to do all the work. I also did order a set of Megan coilovers for the car. They should be here within the next couple days. But for now I'm just gonna get the car in get it on jack stands, hopefully get all the brakes done by then, and then start doing the coilovers. Um, they are from a Celica. They don't actually make coilovers for this car, so they will have to be adapted, which is pretty simple from what I've read online, people have done in the past. But yeah, I'm excited to start working on it. I have a lot of cool plans for the car. Um, I got a bunch of little things on the way for it as well, but I'm sad to see the Miata go for a little while at least. Haven't really messed with it lately. Kind of out of things to do right now just because it's super cold and waiting on a couple things for it, but excited to start working on the Camry. So it's kind of gonna be like a no fucks given type of deal. And getting some crazy fitment and stuff, hopefully. I got, oh yeah, I got some uh, wheel spacers for the car. Bring out the SSRs a little bit. Um, just a bunch of random stuff that I think will be cool. And if you guys are like me at all, I definitely get really bored and depressed if I'm not working on something. That's kind of why I brought this project, is because, you know, the Miata can only go so far. A lot of stuff that I want to do with it is pretty expensive, but this car is just gonna be like a secondary thing to work on and keep my mind at ease. So no matter if it's like tattoos or just creating stuff in general, you know, my stickers, any of that, I definitely have to have something going on all the time. And one more quick thing is this car really isn't gonna mean much to me as far as like keeping it pretty or anything like that. I'm excited just to have something that I can have fun with. Most of the cars that I get are super clean and I don't really ever wanna drive them. You know, I put a lot of expensive parts on them and stuff, but this is actually gonna be in hopefully my daily driver next spring. So it's gonna be pretty crazy and I'm excited. Got the front lip off. Um, I got the side skirts and the lip loaded up in the back of the truck. Just gonna wait for this thing to warm up for a minute and I'm gonna bring it to its new home for a little while and then we'll pull the Camry in. Here we go, man. It's gonna be a sketchy ride over. This is honestly the first time I've driven the car legit on the road in probably three months, especially after doing all the wheels and everything. The tires are definitely not rated for the cold, but I'm just gonna take it slow. It is officially dark, <coughs> just got home. Had my girlfriend follow me over in the Denali. But uh gonna finally pull this thing in the garage here. No interior lights. You guys can hear why I need to do the brakes on this thing if I hit them. Uh, they're not so bad today, but when you go in reverse, it's a lot worse. 
something's grinding. Just gonna let her run for a minute. Probably the first time this thing's been to operating temperature in a while. It's not smoking anymore. I think it was just from sitting. But um, yeah, it's idling really nice. Doesn't sound too bad. Gonna shut her off now. Get this damn door shut because it's freezing. <laughs> and I can finally start doing things. Got the heater going, got my garage door open. Let this thing warm up a little bit and I can maybe do something with it tonight. Got this super sick JDM plate. Should look pretty cool. See if I can get it on real quick. is like super flexible just kind of like being drilled into the plastic but hopefully it should hold I think I'm gonna heat this thing up and actually bend it to fit the bumper hella JDM style Definitely got to clean this engine bay up a little bit. I mean, it is a 32 year old car. It's probably never been cleaned or anything like that, but I'll probably go through and do a detailing video. Other than that, the fluids look pretty good. I just added like a quart of oil to it. I knew it was low. I know I needed to add some, but um, yeah, not too bad. You guys, how horrible the suspension is on this real quick too. Like when you're driving. That's literally all you feel and all you hear is that squeaking and bouncing. Hopefully we'll be able to get the coilovers on soon. Also got this sick light for the interior of the car. Plug it in here real quick. I'll probably end up just mounting it right there on the center console and just hide the wire. But I think that'll be fun for car shows and stuff. Sorry if this video is kind of random, kind of been all over the place today, getting this thing and the other car where it's at and work and all that. But um, yeah, definitely not too concerned about this car as far as like anything that I do to it, honestly, it's really just for fun. Um, I've always wanted a car like this that I can just literally do whatever to and not care about. So hopefully you guys don't take it too seriously. Although I do want to have some fun with it and kind of do it right. Hopefully it'll look cool when I'm done. It's pretty late right now. Not much I can do tonight, unfortunately. I do want to do the brakes. That's going to be the first thing I do. And then the coilovers and wheel fitment. Um, I did end up ordering some fender mirrors that I'll be mounting. I need to make some block off plates for this. Um, I got a couple interior things that I want to do. I actually want to do the yellow um, JDM side markers i'll be making the lip i'm actually going to be rusting out the complete car as well so that's going to be a fun thing but yeah i think i'm going to end this video here um it's kind of crazy seeing this thing in here i didn't expect the miata to be out of the garage anytime soon but uh if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time